Oh, okay. I guess we're live. Sorry. Um, okay. Let me close all this out. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So, um, yes, I guess we're live. Uh, sorry about that. I, I, I don't know. That's my, my fifth live stream. So I should, I should be better about this. So we're kind of taking a, a deep dive. So, uh, we have a project, um, and I, I, do I, oh, you know, here I should, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, so sorry. Well, maybe we should keep that open, keep that open and keep that open and keep that open. Okay, there we go. So let's, uh, so uh, this is a, uh, wow, this is a, uh, how big is this now? Six pages, which is, oh, eight pages. Wow, eight pages of a design document I've built and it's, it's called Project Knowledge. Uh, and I guess maybe we should, you know, Project Knowledge and it's by Micaiah Stevens. So um, this is a, eventually it's gonna be a Unity project. It's already been started. Um, and talked about quite a bit, um, but um, but uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm getting a little distracted here. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to talk. You know, I was I was I was talking about another subject. You know, to myself and kind of in, you know doing an internal monologue to myself, which is really helpful. And I got onto this idea that about the Mortis gods uh, with Star Wars. So. Um, I felt like this would be a really great, interesting topic to talk about, uh, which is kind of like, and then it's kind of like, and then we're doing a lot of design work here. So unfortunately, it's a lot of design and discussion to build up to this idea of this um, concept with, um, uh, and yeah. Anyways, uh, is there a way to pop? Um, sorry. It's like I feel like I'm missing out on so much because I haven't. Let me go over here and look at see if I can. That's what I hate about live streams is where you're, um, you're thinking about this thing, and you're not. I feel like I'm not sure how to. Um. Yeah, so I know it. And let's see, is there a way to, how do you manage the live stream? Okay, anyways, I shouldn't shouldn't tinker around too much because um, nah, this is part of like why I wanted to start this, but it also feels like my, Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm I'm trying to look at this and say, you know, and I sh probably shouldn't. I'm trying to see the chat and whatnot, but I just, I guess it's not important. But yeah, so to me, it's like, um, I think the thing, like when you think about, you know, Deus Ex uh, by um, Square Enix, I looked it up. You think about like uh, this, uh, this article really caught me. This is, I was talking about this article and it just really made me think about these things. And, you know, and then again, we're talking about good and evil, but then we're talking about, you know, Star Wars, right? So project knowledge is really agnostic, right? It's that's the the thing about project knowledge. It's meant to be completely agnostic. Yes, I need to develop um some things for it, right? Um and to me it's like it's it's hard to to describe this project in such a way that it's like I have this general idea of what it wanted to look like but I have no idea how to implement that. So it's, it's, and this is, I, this is going to be years uh, in the making. This is this, I mean, this is like, this is project is about years and years of development. Um, and um, it has, it, it, it feels like to me, it's like, it, it's, it's, it's an interesting mix of personal, private, um, you know, uh, social, uh, entertainment, game development. It's like, it's creativity, right? It's is this, I guess that's the goal of project knowledge is, is to foster creativity, like, you know, with constraints, right? The cons To think about the constraints of what we're going to be talking about here with the Mortis Gods, but then how to think about that in terms of um, the terms of, you know, that, that we need, um, 
you know, as and, and you know, we'll we'll I mean, and I think one of the things uh, that that uh, feels like it it um, you know, the one of the interesting things that's happened in the background for me is the fact that Dave Filoni was made creative director of Star Wars, and I'm like, it's like like it's such a watershed moment for me of like, wow. This is so awesome that they put this really cool person, you know, there again, that's, that's, it's like to make him creative director is like, I feel like that's like going to breathe new life into Star Wars. Um, but there again, it's like, you know, so you got Dave Filoni at Star Wars, you've got uh, Henry Cavill at Warhammer uh, now. Um, and I feel like to me, it's like, I, you know, it's like, it's almost like a dream job to be like, okay, you know, um, like to work for them and you know that i mean that would be like the 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 thing um but but this is not this is not a i i do feel like um i'm not a wikipedia article right this is not i'm not wiki right that's not this is a a um uh, what is the, the this is a uh sorry i don't know i guess i shouldn't get into trouble uh, but but i don't know but anyways um but too and too much but to me it's like wiki is one and it's not a fan although i feel like to me as a fan um i mean there again like this project could really expand to anything right if it's a if it's a music group it, whatever it is it's like it's sort of like a fan but then it's like it's like the the the, the fictional reality of that fan and um to marvel is like a such a excuse me marvel is one of those large things that really kicked off this project i think for me is talking about marvel so much and then realizing okay well you know like i mean it's like i asked the question you know in my other um how many universes are in the marvel universe i know we got the mcu as one marvel universe uh but how many universes are in marvel how many alternative you know we got the earth with 616 and all these different uh, two, but yeah, so it's like that's that's another faceted layer of um, Marvel and a, kind of a Marvel, you know, with the alternative timelines and alternative realities. But um, in Star Wars, um, it's you don't have that that as of yet, <laughs> I should say, you don't have that restriction, you know, that 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 can of worm that's been opened. And I'm not suggesting we do that. Uh, but but yeah so uh, but the, anyways part of Dave Filoni's uh, you know in, which I haven't actually seen the Clone Wars I, a I haven't seen the Clone Wars episode on the Mortis God so I should probably watch that although I've seen most of it but that's the focus of this video and there again we're trying to pertain this to laying out the thoughts on the Mortis episodes and how and then trying to build the graph right this is like when we start building the graph. Uh, can I feed this like of this idea? Ugh. I feel like I'm. Is this? Here, let me close this graph for you and get. Yeah, so it's like I I'm not sure how to. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like I don't know. But to me, it's like so. It's like I'm trying to break down the idea of the Mortis gods into these different categories and how to put them. You know, yes, creativity, but also put them into a piece of code. Uh, and I've kind of broken this down into a few things, right? So the mortise is kind of like the main, I feel like this is just a welcome. And I, I guess I should leave this in because it, yeah. Yeah, anyway, so this, it might help me. But this is this is Obsidian, by the way, if it wasn't clear. I don't say that enough, but this is the tool Obsidian, which is a, a kind of a knowledge base, argue, you know, sort of thing in itself. But, um, yeah, it's 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 kind of one of my nice tools that I can write down a lot of things in, and um, yeah, but yeah. So and then this the mortis. So the mortis gods are broken down into um, into three three categories, I guess, or three people, right? They represent three people. So this is talking about Star Wars, George Lucas, Anakin Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, the whole nine yards, right? This is all canon. So this is. The Mortis gods were introduced in Clone Wars, as far as I understand it. And I, I really need to just go watch that episode because it seems so powerful. Um, and then they were introduced uh, in the the Star Wars cinematic universe. 
<laughs> uh, well, they're introduced in Clone Wars, but in the Star Wars cinematic universe, they were introduced in Ahsoka officially in the live action Star Wars, I guess. Um, and I've actually came up with this really brilliant idea. Uh, and I love talking to my brothers about brother about this and well, brothers too. Um, and I just, yeah, now it's like, now I get to talk to you all about it too. So, and this does fit in with uh, this. There's not going to be any programming in this. Maybe I should show some programming and show kind of what I'm thinking about. Um, but yeah, I think to me, it's like, I, I would love to develop a better graph system because this graph system is not, I like the functionality of it, but I mean, when I get off focus here, but I don't know, the UI in Unity is not maybe the greatest thing, but I like the idea if I could just right click and say, create a link. Like, I don't know what this means. It's like, create a link. I'm like, okay, yeah, what does that actually mean? I guess that means I created a link. Here, let me say, create a link to like more this. Um, Yeah. Oh no. Oops. Uh. Did I? Okay. I guess I just changed the link here to link. Yeah. So. Uh. But then I I don't think I can organize this in such a way that okay. Welcome to the database and then link to Mortis. Right. This is the 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 Mortis piece. And then again, like this would be the the what I'm proposing is a knowledge base of all things Star Wars. And here's the Mortis piece of that. Like this is the the one 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 thousandths of the database, right, is what I'm talking about. Uh, anyway, so we're the the Mortis gods, uh, and they're again like if it's like here, let me uh, can we say like new new note and say term so we've got terminology. So gods, um, Mortis. Um, so gods, as in the little G, God, right. Um, I don't know if Star Wars has a god, uh, you know, a, a, the Marvel one above all, but these are little G's and these are, um, yeah. And then so, um, and I, there again, I, I, I get little, I do know. I did see Ahsoka. I really like, enjoy, like Balin is like my favorite character in the entire story. And I actually came up with this brilliant idea, I think, which is that, that, that took the idea of Balin uh, there again, this almost should be on my second channel, but I feel like, no, this is going to be part of my main channel because it fits in with this project knowledge and why I'm writing. I want, would love to work on this project. Um, anyway, so, um, so yeah, so we break down the Mortis God. So, uh, I guess, you know, just to continue on about, oops. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't. Not, oh yeah. The fort. So, so the father is essentially one. So to me, it's like, okay, a new note of the, father right i don't know how this yeah breaks down so the father is the leader of the mortis i don't know how to say that gods uh gods um and the paternal um father of the daughter son i don't know um yeah uh yeah Anyways, but yeah, so I guess we should just get into this Mortis um, breakdown because I feel like it it puts, um, yeah, it puts it into a much more clear just direction. And it's like, it's it's much more straightforward and I, I can see it in front of myself. So to me, it's like, like, so I guess to me, it's like, I always think about a caveat to, you know, if Dave Filoni is watching, <laughs> I personally don't know the answer to the question, but here is my take on the answers to the question no one but really everyone is asking who are the mortis gods right so to me mortis as in i mean and this is like option a for me right I, this is this is the key thing about knowledge right o, you know option and there again like option one this is what george lucas and uh, Lu, Lu, uh, lucas lucas and dave Filoni think about the mortis uh gods and to me it's like that's the thing that's hard to grasp but this is always something that like Dave, uh, george lucas was really we'll just call him dave f sorry dave um uh, sorry sir uh we'll call him dave f uh this is uh, this is like oh this is a dave filoni idea no no this is apparently something george lucas came up with and this is their 
overarching theme of it, right? And then again, like to me, it's like, okay, well now let's say constraints, constraints. Yoda is not to be explained. You know, never share his home world. Sorry, I'll probably get random thoughts like this. But to me, it's like a, we've got constraints to the system, and this is one of those constraints, right? Uh, anyways, moving forward. Uh, so this is so this is actually apparently something George Lucas came up with, and Dave Filoni is just now directing it. So, so but to me, and you know, it's always like I feel like to me it's like a little bit of history, right? The history, uh, the history here. Uh, here, let me create a new uh, just history. This is all this pers personal Micaiah history. When I saw Star Wars, you know, four, five, and six, I loved the idea of the Mandalorian War. I loved the idea of how Vader came to be, came to be, and my mind filled in a thousand and one ideas and talking to my brother who uh, sorry who this is very exciting but i mean when you program too who read the books he's like no no go read the books <laughs> like i want to fill you in but um but yeah uh anyway so um it, it, yeah uh but yeah so it's like that's kind of like the the history for me where it's like oh, okay cool but so that's kind of where i feel about this is like i don't know what the actual answer is but this is like my take on that like the mortis you know are mortisians this is i just came up with this right the mortisians are who, who found there it's a race of humans right i've just find this later so a, ra a mortisian is a race of human like beings who died out thousands of years ago but three of their kind found a pocket dimension and became you know became the mortis gods right became the the mortis you know god you know uh, gods small g small g um and yeah and it's it just feels like this is like one of my scientific tropes like I was talking, this is why I was talking about Warhammer 40k. Um, um, oh, do I have to end this? Uh, anyways, um, um. <laughs> yeah anyways um yeah how did yeah uh so to me it's like um yeah so yeah so this is like an idea that just one of the scientific tropes about how that you know the the warhammer 40k where the god emperor played by henry cavill i guess there again that's another you got henry cavill you got dave filoni you got these really influential people i think is just amazing it's like i would just love to work for him anyways uh but yeah um, so yeah, so there, you know, it's like the pocket mentioned and lived there for a thousand years and grew ancient and old and the force used them to fill in the energy as represented by the balance of good and evil with the overarching foggy figure to maintain the balance, right? Uh, who do they represent in the world? Oh yeah, yeah. So to me, it's like, um, like who do they represent in the world? Oh man, I'm sorry, I'm I'm lost here in thought, but. Um, but yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, so to me, it's like, oh, I guess that's, it's like, well, to, to me, it's like out in the world who they represent, but it's like, um, I feel like this is like, this is like a tragic end. This is all right. We left it with my brother. I felt like this was a tragic end of the story that if Anakin was the father, right? So it's like, to me, it's like, and there again, the, the Mortis gods, the daughter died, and she was transferred into Ahsoka. I mean, there's a whole like story here and like history that's being built up. And to me, it's like, that's why Ahsoka has the white owl flying around. There's a lot of interesting things there, but it's like, I feel like, okay, well, who does Anakin, to me, it's like, I should have guessed that Anakin was the son, but I like, he felt like more like the father. 
And I feel like this this would have been tr a tragic end to this story if Balin was just the sun. Balin just doesn't represent the dark side. Um, and I guess to me it's like, I, and I don't want to say, oh, Anakin represents the dark side, but it's, he, I think he he most embodies it the most. I guess he's the, you know, to me, it's like, uh, you know, there again, Anakin, Anakin is the um, embodiment of the true dark side, right? The uh, true dark side, the avatar is the word I'm looking for of the dark side, not the emperor, right? To me, it's like, I feel like the emperor really is like, you know, that's like in, in, uh, like in Lord of the Rings, for instance, it's like the the Frodo was always gonna win because um, that uh, Um, Frodo was always going to win because, you know, the god, the god above all, the real, the, you know, the the one above all in Frodo was going to help him. And to me, it's like, you know, uh, I just feel like that's the thing. And I think, like, to me, it's like the emperor is always going to lose because, A, you know, there's no balance to the, you know, it's like, for, I don't know, whatever. We'll have to, like, I don't know, that's a, it gets into the larger thing of things. But to me, the thick of things, the weeds, as I like to say, but He's really like, the, and it, you know, to me, it's like, and it, it's not, and that's what this article was talking about here, uh, where this Warhammer article, I didn't actually read the article, I just read the title here, that the opens the debate about good and evil paths, and many think doing the right thing shouldn't lead to better rewards. And to me, it's like the, the sort of what I was trying to say is, and this is, I, you know, I, I read a couple of paragraphs, but this is for the Warhammer 40K. Um, and that's what the knowledge is, right? The knowledge is not about Star Wars. It's not about Marvel. It's not about Warhammer 40K. It's not about the Bible as written by God. It's about how to, cons you know, how to put together knowledge in such a way that we can understand it. And that's like the goal of this project, right? Uh, yeah, so that's the goal, how to take all this and put it into a model and manage the data is not just databases with constraints on the history and the freedom to write creativity creatively right it's like it's that that balance about um and i was talking about the fact like ray like you know the constraints of like well you know for, you know for instance for instance ray's parents are unknown and we don't need to know, but it's a question that can be answered in some ways. Um, maybe they have, I don't know, but we are, but our knowledge isn't to ask, answer the question. It's to say it's an interesting question, right? It's like this idea that, you know, and and I was talking about that Dave Filoni, um, DF may know, but doesn't need to, you know, put it into a hard fact. It's just this idea. It's, it's just this idea that to me, it's like, you know, he may know and George Lucas may know, but it's like, you know, they're, you know, this, this knowledge is not to say this is a hard fact. It's just to say, this is a creativity point and it's like it's that's the hope is this is like to create all these different ideas um you know and and feels like you know how to to build these ideas into a cohesive uh, storyline so but i was talking to my brother about how the fact well if anakin's the father and that's just like well balin is just the son this is like a tragic end to this this story and the story of Balin. I feel like that's a, a horrible end to Balin. And I wanted to give Balin a better ending to his story. I just actually came up with it, right? It's like, if you make Balin the father, it's like, oh my goodness gracious. I'm like, why didn't I think of that in the first place? If Balin's the father in the Mortis Gods, the one above all, it's his story perfectly. It's like, 
he was upset about the you know that that he that a you know I mean you know and there again it's like we talk about this later Balin's I guess I I don't need to write all this this is why I'm doing it in video form if Balin doesn't need to he was a he was a, a white he was a Balin's a, like I feel like he's a great well anyways I, I, I want to say Balin was a great Jedi but let's we'll table that for a second but Balin started out as a light side Jedi and he saw the the futility of it all and then turned to the dark side with his apprentice, right? You, you know, the full on, he had an apprentice in the dark side. That's obviously, so it's like, he's on both sides of the fence and said, wow, the light side's bad and the dark side's bad. And to me, and, but to me, he's amoral to say, and I feel like to me, it's like Balin is like, Balin is going to win because unlike, um, Although I do feel like um, General Thrawn, the Thrawn, is aware that the Je he's like I underestimated the Jedi once, um, and I, you know, um, he's like I underestimated the Jedi. But I feel like to me, it's like Balin doesn't underestimate it. he completely understands him you know and i just he's like no no you know i feel like he's like you know ahsoka you're right but i can't let you do that because you know you're not right in the you know you're still serving the jedi or, you know well i mean ah ahsoka is almost a great jedi too but anyways we'll talk about that in a second but it, i'm just it just it feels like that that balin is it started out as a light character you know got disillusioned with that for really honest reasons, right? You think about like the light side, and I, I, did, I, I did I talk about Yoda at some point? But yeah, Yoda daughter, we made serious mistakes, um, and did that not understand the good of the dark side. To me, it's like I don't know, but yeah, I feel like Yoda really. That's like the only thing I really appreciate about seven and nine, eight and nine is when Yoda destroyed the tree. That but yes destroys all knowledge, and it's like kind of ironic because I'm talking about a project about knowledge, but Yoda's like, no, 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 you know, we were wrong. The daughter was wrong for so long. We need the balance of the force. So there again, maybe Yoda's now joined, you know, as a you know when you join that, you know, you become a force ghost. You become agents of the father or something. Are you? You know, agent, I don't know how it works, but anyways, let's not get into the weeds. But yeah, but I feel like the 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 thing for me is like if Balin's the father, you know, he sees the bad and the light side. He sees the bad and the dark side, but it, you know, but he also sees the good and says, "Hey, um, you know," he tells his apprentice, "You know, go and be forth and be merry." Right? I think I didn't. I uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, I I thought that I said that at some point, but. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, but yeah, it just makes so much more sense to me, um, that if he becomes the father, um, uh, there again, it's so that's the more, this is again, so I talk about, this is the, the, to some of the, the backstory of some of this, the idea, not that, you know, Star Wars, that's, I know I've got to be extremely careful, I guess that no, 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 we're not talking about the Marvels one above all, but I think we're talking about this idea that this father as in that this is kind of the general idea of that. I mean, you can't copyright the father, um, but anyways, but then I feel like Balin would be the perfect father because he also has seen the light side and the dark side, but he doesn't underestimate the light side. and He doesn't underestimate the dark side. He feels like a, a really good, but he sees the problems, right? It's he sees the problems of the light side, sees the problem of the dark side. I mean, he probably is like, well, you know, I mean, it's just going to be endless war. And I feel like that's that's the goal of the father is to stop endless war. Uh, I would just it would just feel, feel like a tragic end if he was the son and said, "Well, now I'm just going to go dark side." It's like he gave up the dark side and said, "You know, go forth and you know serve the dark side. You'll be happy." Uh, anyways, and then yeah, so Anosoka becoming the daughter, uh, and there again, like so to me, it's like um, how oh, and I also thought how ironic a a is Anakin and Ahsoka is managed by B, which is 
the yin yang relationship managed by a circle, right? So it's like we talk about the yin yang. So this is some of the terminology. Um, is this yin yang father, you know, father, the, 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 the all seeing, you know, God, um, the daughter, I um, mean, it just, it's just, you know, just basic terms in the sun. And then you got gray, light, and dark, right? So, um, I guess that's not how the gray Jedi work. I guess I've talked about this, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, so it's just I found that ironic that you know AA. It's like wow, that's sort of uh, uh, Feng Shui. Right? This is a a Feng Shui uh, example of yin yang, right? It's like a if I I'm not I guess I'm not getting right. It, there's a there's a an Asian. It's like we're the idea that balance and, and harmony and all this stuff, but yeah, so um, yeah, so to me, it's like this is like so Anakin's goal then should be the dark side. It's just way out of whack and gone evil when really it's just mistaken beliefs, right? The, the Palpatine was wrong, right? Palpatine, Palpatine, Palpatine was wrong and evil, right? He just Palpatine was just wrong and evil, and he took the dark. He, I mean, he's like trying to in in you know, it's almost like. A, He's the son trying to supplant the father, which is impossible, right? It's like, you know, a father, a son. I mean, that's like the the trope of train travel. Like, oh, I'm the son, but I'm also the father. It's like, no, 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 that's just ridiculous. Um, um, but yeah. So and then the Yoda is the daughter. I don't know. To me, it's like the Yoda. I don't know how these characters fit. How do force ghosts? fit into the world right it's like that's to me it's like the the issue here is like uh you know when you get down to the the weeds of things it's like okay you got Ye yoda is the uh, the part of the daughter well he's part of the daughter on the light side but now he's like no 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 i feel like he's almost you know, like force uh, force force ghosts feel like agents of the father right it's like they've given up their life and say wow uh, wow, we were so wrong about everything. Like, and there again, like Yoda has made mistakes. He didn't understand the good of the dark side. You know, uh, war is evil, but necessary uh, sometimes. Um, I don't know. Maybe. And there again, this is again, this is not reality. This is not. This is clearly fantasy, right? Let's let's make that clear distinction. This is clearly fantas fanciful you know fancy a uh, fantasy not reality right it's not this is not what we're talking about we're not talking about reality we're talking about a fantasy about yoda as a, you know an alien race uh and that's the same thing in the article about you know the 40k it's like this is not uh but yeah anyway so that's uh, and so yeah so this is yin and yang um i felt like this is like the you know good and evil you know, yin and yang. It's like these concepts that came to interweave throughout our life. But I don't know. I guess we shouldn't fall for these traps. You know, and, you know, we should grow outside of this fantasy. But I think for a while, I mean, oh, you know, fantasy is always interesting. Uh, anyway, so I know this is probably not how it works, but Balin feels like a gray Jedi and also understands his apprentice is a dark side user and says, "Hey, that's okay. Go forth and be merry." As a gray father, he can even foresee her and Luke's future. Um, I don't know if they're going to actually implement that. I mean, this is like major Star Wars, right? Major Star Wars spoilers. I should have said that. But, I mean, obviously, if you're talking about the Mortis Gods. You should know this is going to be spoiler territory. Anyway, so this is a uh, way, uh, why, you know, why step in the way of that future? It's like, um, but that might bring its own balance to the Force, right? Uh, which is really the that's why i feel like anakin is almost the father because he's trying to bring balance to the force but really the son and daughter you know they need to have their own balance and when that balance is out of whack that's when the father steps in right that you know i talked about the fact that of, of thor the ending to thor gods and heroes should be the one above all should step in and say no 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 um that's that's not how this is going to end thor you know i'm going to make you a god the god king thor but know that I'm the real God. You're just a small G. I'm the real God. And Zeus, I told Zeus this, and he wouldn't listen to me. 
and now it's like it's time to put them to shame and say no you're you're gods because you're supposed to be kings of your people and you're not i mean it's like you know again like the god butcher was somewhat correct in his belief but he just went about it the wrong way i guess anyway so uh oh yeah so i do talk about race so uh the, you know this so it's like yeah so that but i don't know, i feel like the the gray feels like i am mistaken in who they are and what they are doing um i feel like ray ray would have for me personally been a perfect um jedi as she was the embodiment embody meant of the gray jedi the, the balance between the light and dark right to me it's like that's i mean it's like i feel like that to me is like the 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 yin and yang the you know it's like you know like the the let's see the yin yang white black has gray in the middle and you just you never see it but it's like it's always there right when you put white and black together they merge to form gray it's almost like that well what's sex you know like talking about star uh, star trek where malcolm went to starfleet headquarters and the section 42 was trying to recruit him and he's like well it's always been in the charter and he's like what do you mean and he's like well see right there section 42 it's left blank that means there's a, an entire charter out there that dignifies what we do. And it's like, wow. You know, it's like, anyway, so I feel like that would just make a better, if that was the explanation for Ray, I almost would get more appreciation out of watching seven, eight, and nine. Um, but there again, it's like, they feels like, you know, with the, with the understanding that, you know, this new understanding that Palpatine was, was always going to lose uh, because he's going against the father and he's the sun is going way too far. That's like what the Mortis Gods episodes, I believe, was about, where the father had to step in and stop the sun from going too far. And I feel like that's been happening in Star Wars for way too long. I feel like we've, and there again, we have ten thousand years of history to say the dark side is bad. But I feel like to me, it's like I really like to say, you know, this new, you know, this new generation. And there again, I don't want to reboot Star Wars. I just, you know, this new generation of understanding that yes you're a light side user but it's like the dark side isn't you know attachment and family isn't bad and evil it's just you know how you go about it is is what makes it bad and evil anyway so uh but uh uh yeah so it just feels like ray would be a perfect gray jedi is you know it's the embodiment between the balance of light and dark and that's why that's uh why she is so powerful is she understands the balance um somehow not that that the light you know i feel like uh yeah they're getting maybe I should write that down not not that the light side needed to or the light side slash father needed to correct the balance it's like i feel like that's just such a trope but i feel like to me it's she it would be so much more powerful if she was a gray jedi that's like the balance between the light and dark. And that's why she's powerful. It's like she understands, like Ahsoka. I mean, it feels like Ahsoka is a gray Jedi too, but I mean, I don't know. It's like if she's the daughter, it's like she's the the perfect embodiment of the Force. She's peaceful, calm. You know, yeah, she's made mistakes with her apprentice, but I feel like she's she gets the Force. And it's like, to me, it's like, you know, like she almost feels like Ahsoka, uh, Ahsoka, uh feels like Qui-Gon, right? Qui-Gon and Ahsoka are like soulmates, right? Qui-Gon got the force and he tried to tell the council, no, you're doing it wrong. Here's why I'm gonna train this. And they're like, no, 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 no. I feel like Qui-Gon and Ahsoka are like almost the perfect embodiments of the true force. I mean Qui-Gon should have been extremely powerful, but there again, like you've got the dark side tipping the dark dark side has some weight on the scale and that is why 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 the uh, why gone lost um yeah 
it feels like that's to me is like the more explanation of why Qui-Gon lost is because the dark side was cheating. I mean, that's pretty much what Palpatine was doing, and the father basically had to go correct it. Um, and again, as um, the true balance of the Force was like when Anakin died and then joined. I mean, I don't know. Just he, I guess he understood the dark side. He understood that you know that sometimes these necessary things are you know i don't know i i guess i'd have to rethink about that but anyway so uh but but bum bum yeah and then so how to take all this and then put it into a model and ma manage the data so that's like the goal of this project it's not just databases with constraints on the history it's well it's 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 constraints on the history and the for freedom to wait to write creativity for instance, Ray parents are unknown, and we don't need to know, but it's a question that can be answered in some ways. But the knowledge itself isn't the knowledge itself isn't to answer the question itself isn't to answer the question. It's to say it's an interesting question, you know, Dave Filoni, George Lucas, Manet, but we don't need to know to get that to be a hard fact, right? That's the whole goal of this project is like, this is an interesting question, but I'm not here to answer that question. I'm here to say it's an interesting question, and it's a a footnote in the annals of history, and that's 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 all the idea of this knowledge base is. But yeah, it just gives this this you know um, the there again like we talk about like to me it's like we um, uh, Skywalker right to me it's like Skywalker is the you know Luke you know, Bell well I mean uh, Le you know Leek Leia. Um, it's like, to me, it's like, um, well, I, f I feel like here, let me, like there is a Luke Skywalker, um, fandom, right? So if we go to the Luke Skywalker fandom, and this is a random fandom on the internet, Wik Wikipedia, and you say, okay, who's Luke Skywalker? And this is where the, this, we, where the kind of a little interfaces with the wikis. Oh boy. Seems like they're, got it. It's like take these, uh, you know, the Star Wars. This, I mean, I feel like one of the goals for this project would be to get Disney to say, release a fandom that's like the history, release the knowledge base. Um, wow, okay, that's not going to work, but uh, yeah, here to me, it's like, okay, yeah, so to me, it's like, here we go, so uh, does it say, yeah, so the affiliation, oh, so here we got the Skywalker family. Yeah, this is what I'm looking at. Perfect. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, this is like where I'm like, woo. Uh, let me copy the caveats too. But this is kind of like, wow, what I'm talking about here. And I like, could put this here. So it's like, we've got this. Um, yeah, so Luke and Luke and Leia Organa and Han Solo and Ben Solo. And we got Bell Organa. And wow, I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, so these are actually Padme is married to Jabal, which is married to who? Wow. Oh, yeah, see, it's like Anakin's like, oh, he had no father. So it's like, oh, my God, well, who's Anakin? I feel like some people say that, like, um, Palpatine was Anakin father, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's like, yeah, we got this Baru and Lars and, yeah. I don't know who Clog or Lars is, but yeah, it's like, and there again, like, um, well, I mean, with with uh, with Obi Wan Kenobi, apparently he has a brother out there, so it's like that. That to me is like, okay, like there again, like this is, this is the, the history of Luke, um, but Obi Wan, one, I don't know, one Kenobi, uh, has a brother um out there <laughs> like i mean that was like a drop the ball dave or whoever and be like yeah let me drop a a fandom ball on you guys and then say well it's okay that's the end of that it's like what the yeah, why i guess to me it's like this is just the the point of this project in the star wars aspect is to try to okay so say this was a piece of information that was put out there and this is the source, right? This is the, we need the source, right? We need the information, why, who, what, where, right? Like, you know, this is Dave Filoni, George Lucas, or John Favreau, right? I don't know if John, I think John Favreau is directing. 
like where did this come from? And there again, this is about you know not public information. This is a part of the project that I'm really scared about. But to me, it's like this idea of you know. And there again, like this is already being developed by Dave Filoni and and everybody. Like everybody has this you know they call it a character bible. Everybody has a character bible. But to me, it's like I feel like the problem with the character bible. Um, and maybe I guess they have maybe um, knowledge bases. That's why knowledge is like it's it's kind of really shorthand for a knowledge base, right? This idea that 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 there's a you know an entire you know internal document you know being written up right now, like with Harry Henry Henry Cavill about Warhammer 40k, and and it, like Dave there again. Dave is like okay. You know, I mean, Dave is like, okay, I'm going into the, but to me, it's like, I just feel like the records are like, you know, 30,000 episodes. And it's like, I feel like they're so disparaging that, that to me, it's like Dave probably even loses track of all the things he's talking about and thinking about. It's like, there's no, there's no one database that covers all this information. Uh, and again, I, I guess I talk about in my article here about AI, there's a little blurb here about AI. Um, that says um, it's unclear if AI is the way to go. How they train their models and what they are being used for is not controllable. Creating and maintaining the internal data is paramount to anyone who would want to use this tool set to maintain and grow the information storehouse. To me, it's like, it's the idea that the problem with AI right now is, yes, you can use AI, but it's like, I think it opens yourself up to a, a litany of a, a vector of attack, right? This is a vector of attack. A vector of attack is chat GTP is used. We now exposed our entire, you know, fandom, entire internal fandom to the internet. And it's like, you know, maybe not inadvertently. I'm not trying to say that that's what OpenAI would do, but I feel like that would be a that's a huge risk factor to say. You know, it's like opening a port. Like I think it would be akin to open up a port on the internet. You're like, okay, you need to open a port, but when you do that, you open up yourself to say, hey, you know, I mean, this fan, you know, like you need like a, this is like an intra intranet intranet versus uh, internet, right? versus extranet you know this like this core concept of this is on the intranet right where where this really this really is on the intranet right it's the idea of a very and there again like nothing secure i mean i I wonder how blizzard keeps this stuff secure um and how they do it you know to me it's like i mean you know do you you know it's like i guess to me it's like you go like in blizzard it's like you know you know uh, fantasy, right? You you go into a Blizzard locked room, and you can talk to the to you can talk to um, what's his name? Um, God, what's his Chris Metzen, <laughs> and sign in and out, but can't take anything with you. <laughs> it's like a you know, it's like a. I always, I always felt like that would be a funny YouTube series, like a variety YouTube series, where it's like, you're like, knock, knock, knock. What's the password? Chris Meston is the, you know, is a god. And you're like, okay, what's your, what's the color of the day? Blue. Okay, open up the door. Sign here. You know, blood fingerprint analysis. Okay, you're say you're okay. You're um, you're uh, Mike Morheim. Okay, you can talk to Chris Meston. You got Chris is like in a chair. Like, okay, I'm, I'm okay. What do you want to know? Where was Thrall born? Oh, okay. Thrall was born, and and it's like okay, and he's like turned around, like Orboris is like okay, you know, pulls all this information. He's like okay, Thrall was born, and this is all Warham War Warcraft, right? Warhammer, uh, no Warcraft, sorry, Warcraft, World of Warcraft. Chris Messon's uh, the uh, the story director of them. Oh my God, working for him would be amazing. Um, and then Mike Morham is this old ex CEO of Blizzard. Um, I mean, God, they should just bring him back, right? Microsoft should just bring him back. Anyways, I don't know. 
Uh, but but yeah, so I'm just joking that you know it's like Chris is like okay, well you know, and he's like okay, you know, goes around, opens up the file cabinets, you know, cyclists, and then like okay, he was born in Durtar in the year 1316, you know, on the shores of blah blah blah. It's like oh okay, cool. Maybe Chris could come off the top of his head, but really this this information is you know. Um, it's it you know and there it's about controllable information right it's about and and how to get access access and control with you know um with validation right it's like we want to make sure the information is correct where thrall was born um you know, and 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 Marvel. I mean, in Marvel, this this project is like, okay, you take this project, and it's like, you know, a trillion gigabytes of data, and you're like, okay, now copy that a thousand times, and that's how. That's like that's the problem I'm having with Marvel right now. Okay, that dirt, you know, like, uh, you know, Luke Skywalker is like the what if. So I'm like, I mean, honestly, I would love to see a what if of uh of Star Wars. What I saw, a, what if Luke Skywalker was good. And he, he raised his kids in the forest. It's like, wow, um, that would be crazy. But anyways, um, but yeah, that's the, you know, the, yeah, it's me. So I guess, I mean, it's like I should, it's like, you know, here again, this is the Chris Metzen of Blizzard, um, the Dave Filoni of Star Wars, the um, uh, uh, Henry, I don't know if Henry does it, Cavill. Of Warhammer, um, this is not this is not what they do, but this is kind of like the idea of these these are these. It's just kind of like this is my audience, right? This is my audience, um, uh, you know. And then we, uh, I guess, we got um, what's his name, um, my audience. And how do these people do it? Uh, and you got uh, what's his name? Um, bum bum bum. God, who's the Kevin Feige, right? Kevin Feige of you know of, of Marvel. Um, oh, and then we got uh, what's his name now? Is the DCU DC DC Cinema DCU? What's his name? Um, who's his name now? Um, Who's in charge of the DCCU? It's uh, what's his name? Now DCU. Yeah, Gunn, right? Yeah, yeah, that's his name. James Gunn. Yeah, so Peter Safran, co-chairman of the. Yeah, so this is just, so man. It's like I to me. It's I'm not saying Chris Metzen. Uh, to me, it's like um. In this in this case, it's uh, Dave James Gunn and Dave Filoni of the DCU, right? And it's like to me, I'm like, I know that this is the face of the, you know, the the character Bibles, um, the character, you know, the the their knowledge base, right? So this is like the the people I'm thinking about here, um, and I guess we're good. Like, how do how do we sell Dave Filoni, Dave Filoni, F F I L O N I, F I L O N I. Uh, to me, it's like, and then it's like Dave Filoni and John Fav. How do you how do you spell Favaro? Favaro. No, oh, yes, that was John Favaro. I mean, I, I it's like I, to me, it's like Happy, you know, from Star Wars or from 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 Marvel. It's like wow, um, it would be so crazy to meet him because I'm like. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So this to me, it's like this. So like, so um, I guess I'm getting off track. But anyways, and I'm you know, I don't know. I will have to see if I don't know if I ever get bad back. But to me, it's like so. You think about John as a director, right? This is his bread and butter. It's like you really have to storyboard. Um, character sh designs it's like to me it's like it's a massive um and i feel like to me this just takes that and formalizes formalizes this into a technical you know 
prototype, you know, t technical framework, right? There's some sort of framework that I'm kind of describing to myself here that says, okay, you're already doing all this work. You know, I mean, how do they manage it and how do, how can we improve in a new future? Um, yeah, so I, I feel like, um, yeah, so this is like, so when jo John Favreau like directed Iron Man, it's like he had to come up with this entire Iron Man ethos. And there again, like he must have been at the forefront of, of, of Iron Man and Marvel and saying, okay, I want to do this. And, and there again, like, so this is uh, John, um, he inter interfaces with Kevin on Marvel and they uh, consult the, you know, the Bible and, and their ideas, but Kevin doesn't share X, Y, Z, right? I mean, it's just, it's not anything to say bad about Kevin, uh, Kevin Feige, but to me, it's like, it's just, you know, you, you, you know, that's, that just means John had to focus, not get distracted. And this is where I come in. It's like, I come in, I'm like, okay, my job is to get distracted. That's the job I want. I want the job to get distracted. Um, and again, maybe is it worth it to me? It's like, um, I hope like if, as long as you're put to, you know, I mean, this project, if, you know, would just, I mean, literally like that's the, this, uh, t -t 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 where does it say? Uh, uh, yeah. Ultimately it'll take thousands of people to maintain thousands of years and people to maintain and to use, improve and update. It possibly will never end unless our storing of information, you know, personally, uh, uh, you know, personally changes. Um, I.e. Iron Man with Jarvis and his process of information like that's at his level of information processing is like this is like I'm, I'm essentially proposing a Jarvis, right? This is this you know in terms of ideas is is pro you know is proposing a jarvis like environment um no, you know not with ai right to me i'm not talking about ai i'm just talking about you know in terms of uh, living living documents of history and creativity Right. That's that's really the the if I had to say one, you know, takeaway from this project is it's a living document of history and creativity. That's the it's the idea that, you know, un unlike this document, this word document is a static, you know, ever changing, ever, ch ever, uh, ever, ever changing hot mess, right? Just to steal a, a marble terminology lately. It's a hot mess of ever-changing static, you know, out of date as soon as I write it. And there again, like this, this project could be, I wrote a book um, called the, uh, the, let's see, God, uh, the, the, I don't even remember the name of my book. Um, the Tomorrow Man. Yeah, I think it's called the Tomorrow Man. Let me Google it. Yeah, it's easy. Go go on your own book, The Tomorrow Man by Micaiah Stevens, right? I, well, Thunders, right? So this is the book I wrote. Um, you know, slight plug, uh, you know, buy it now. I feel like I've I sold maybe five, co you know, copies. I could say that. I'm not under any legal as far as I'm aware. Um, but I wrote this book and I've sold maybe five copies. So <laughs> um, I guess this is like, um, but yeah, I would love to write, you know, take, I was just thinking this would be a great project to take this book and to create a, um, a, um, a database of this book because I've written, like, I've literally written the idea for 12 books, right? I don't know if I can find this without, I guess I can't pause, but, um, like, um, I don't think I can pull this up, but I mean, I've literally written 12 books. And um, I don't think I can pull this up without 
yeah, it's just not feasible in terms of, oh, here we go. Maybe, no, oh, maybe, okay, a second, one second. Where? No, I don't have it, sorry. Uh, but I've, I've literally written 12 books somewhere and it's like it's like so this project I'm talking about would be just great for that. And there again, it's like I've I've literally written you know an entire books stories in this idea, and it's like I always thought well it'd be a great game, but I just haven't really you know put together. So that'd just be an interesting use of. It's like to me this there's endless applications for this idea. Um, I was in it or I'm still looking. Sorry. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's like I'm going to do a search on the internet, intranet. But yeah, I feel like this this project has a massive things. Um, how are we at? We're at an hour. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think we're going to get into code, unfortunately. I feel like we're just talking about the ideas. Um, about this. I feel like this is a great um, takeaway from the Star Wars. You've got the history of Star Wars here. Um, oh, I did actually, um, here, let me pull up um, another. I think we can actually talk about something else in terms of the Marvel, right? So it's like, uh, sorry, I'm lost. There we go. Here, let me. Um, well, that's thanks. I was like, okay, I don't want to do this, but then it's like, oh, I got to do it anyway. So, again, so to me, it's like you've got this idea of the the Marvel knowledge base. It's like you've got. I've tried to break this down into these different Earths that I can know about. So it's like you've got Earth zero, Earth one, Earth two, and then I've got Earth six one six, and then I talk about Earth seven one seven, where like, oh, hey. Uh, this is talking about the idea. This is where uh, Loki as this is like, so this is Marvel, right? This is Marvel's um, knowledge base that I've been trying to like put together and think about in terms of, again, that's like, I'm trying to come up with this overall idea of what I need and how to make this in there again. Like you think about the genealogy, you know? So it's like, I've talked about a little bit about, this is why I want to bring this up. It's like, oh, Skywalker and his family history, but you've got this Odin son, right? Um, as his family, and then you got these events, and they're again like this. Marvel is quite a bit different because you've got, um, you know, different, you know, World War One, Two, Three, and they're again like Marvel, World War Ten. Um, oh, this is oh, sorry, this is uh, so to me, uh, this this might be a shared history. So to me, it's like, can you take the knowledge base of Star Wars and say, hey, I want to hook in the shared history? Um, that's that's like is is Star Wars taking place in the Earth, you know, universe, you know, a hundred, you know, hundred thousand years from now? And, you know, question mark. If that's the case, you know, I like, okay, well, the Mandalorian War is known as War World War Ten, right? So to me, it's like, uh, here, let me, um, let's say this is the now, this is going to be the, no, oh, why is this not? Okay, yeah, no, oh, here, okay, so why, oh, it feels like it's arguing with me, and I don't, I don't know why, oh, because it's over here, okay, sorry, I, I have, I have two monitors, but yeah, so for here, oh, for here, I, yeah, it feels a little, okay, yeah, for here, um, you know, this is like, okay, well, this is like the history as World World War Ten is the Mandalorian Mandalor Mandal Mandalorian War. I don't know, sorry. Um and then it's like is this I don't want to oh here, let me just want to copy this and say, hey, um is you know Star Wars taking place in the we can now um integrate the shared 
Earth history. Um, um, integrate the shared Earth history. And then as we change events, we can um, clarify the changes. So I, I feel like a, a show, which I'm not watching, I think it's called All for Mankind, um, is kind of doing this recently. And I, I don't watch the show, but I, I've read like, oh, they're saying, okay, but season four, you know, spoiler alert, but season four, they're going to say, well, we are, you know, Star Trek Discovery never happened. And I'm like, why? Why is that detail? I'm just like, that, I'm really curious why that detail is included in that show. Because it's like, wait, why are they doing that? And it's like, it feels like this alternative history. That's like ultimately what this is really meant to be. Like you look at the marbles, right? Where the marbles knowledge base is like this idea of it's it's so much more insane. And there again, like this is part of like where you got these um not warp drives, but you got these field jump drives from Star Wars, right? So this this piece of information is kind of this is like the knowledge base and where you get this idea. This is the this is the foundation of the knowledge base, right? So it's like you've got people genealogy history timelines events technology uh and terminology uh which is kind of like i i was working on a little bit over here it's like i'm okay now i need terminology and what is this oh this is nothing but you have terminology and you know then this is like history of luke right so um but yeah uh and there again so it's like this is like i mean who's like um uh in knowledge uh, over here uh, we should like say, you know, who's um, Star Star Trek? You know, it's a question mark. Who's who's of Star Trek, right? Of 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 Star Trek. Um, like this is my my audience, right? This is my 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 uh, my um, customers, right? These are my customers that I'm thinking about here. Like you know, uh, X Y Z of Star Trek, right? Whoever is in Star Trek, um, we got DECU, we got Marvel, Warhammer, Star Wars, Blizzard. Um, yeah, I don't know. This I mean, it feels like there's um, um, oh, you got Stargate, right? You got Stargate. Uh, you got um, yeah. It's just to me, it's like you got the Bible. Um, you know, the, I mean, yeah. These are this is where the, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be this crazy person that says this, this is what the tool can do, but. I mean, really, this is the 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 five second elevator pitch. Is this is the uh, is the next generation of the of Wiki, right? Uh, and maybe that's a bad example. They're like, oh my God, I don't want to be WikiLeaks. They're like, no, no, no. This is the Wiki technology, right? Um, where it's like, yeah, it's it's the you know the, the uh, knowledge base, you know, this is the next generation. You know, maybe that's a easier. The five second. This is the next generation of the knowledge base, right? Um, I feel like knowledge base is like as a a a tool that you can go and ask questions. Like customer service use them all the time, and and computer science feels like you know uh, computer technicians, right? I don't know the answer, but let me look it up in the knowledge base. And they look it up, and they're like, oh, okay, this is the answer that we have in the knowledge base. They're like, okay, this needs work, right? And then you're like, you know, uh, this article needs massive work. You know, please help, right? And they're like, you know, some poor person could click on this button and say, hey, this needs massive work, right? You know, you know, raised parents are a blank space. <laughs> Fix, please. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so you got this idea of just different things like like time travel. Um, you know, they're getting. It's like I thought. Oh, and and, and a, Infinity Avengers Infinity, I think, or whatever, where they invented time travel. Or well, not invented, but introduced it to the MCU uh, to the whole. You got warp drives from Star Trek. It's just like Infinity Stones. Um, there again, are they created by the one above all? Question mark. Um, yeah, and then you know, and then we're talking about the field jump drives. Oh my God, feel right, and that's like I—I uh, I guess I need to be agnostic about this. I personally feel like, why did you include feel? But maybe again, someone, some smart idiot like me said, "Oh well, we've got these these ships, but how do they operate?" Oh well, they need feel, of course, and that's what you know. That's 
Uh, there again, I guess that's like I, it's myself. I guess I I guess I only have myself to blame, as I am like, huh? You know, Bespin gas. You know, a cloud city. This all leads to feel as the primary source of law, right? Um, yeah. I also feel like to me it's like when you think about the Mortis gods, um also. Um sorry. Ran random. This is a random random Friday night stream. That's it. Um oh no and this this one. Um yeah, this one. Um uh, to me it's like well not on the yeah, on this right here. It's like I also like to say what what is the the temple guards relationship to all of this you know to me it's like the 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 character i can't to me it's like like who are the let me see the star war star wars episode 7 temple guard oh no this is uh not sorry no um that's star wars episode 7 but um rogue one temple guards Temple guards, um, yeah, guardians of the wills, right? I think that's who they are, who I'm thinking about. But to me, it's like these, um, uh, yeah. Oh, it's like almost I just saw the picture I was looking for. Yeah, this guy, not this guy per se, but this is Baze Morbius. Yeah. So who's his buddy? Yeah. So this is Shaulat, yeah, Shaulat Yuma wielding his light bow. As this to me is, yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. Where's the temple guards? To me, it's like, and specifically, I want to know about this guy, right? This, the Shaulat, uh, and there again. So like, to me, it's like, okay, so they are these people are technically supposed to be the um, guardians of the, the guardians of the wills. Ooh. Oh, I feel like, yeah, I just, I just, I don't know. Right here, let me paste it as plain text. Oh, it's so nice. Anyway, so this is like a, supposed to be the guardian of the wills. Uh, and yeah, it's, and it's, and you got his buddy and, and his large buddy. Um, I should maybe tag that, you know, because it's just interesting to think about, right? Yeah, so this is, um, yeah. Yeah, so then in and then again the history of Jada. So like to me it's like future questions about the history <laughs> of Jada. Um yeah. It's just it just feels really interesting and I feel like this it to me it's like this I, I didn't really appreciate him, but I was like I, I, I really loved his character, Sh Sh Shirat. The basically the blind guy in Rogue One where he's like He's kind of like a Jedi, but he's like not. He's force sensitive, but not. I mean, I just, I just don't understand him in the larger picture of things. And it's like, but to me, it's like, it's, I don't know. I guess people are like, you know. But I just, I really, I'm, I'm partially blind. Um, and so it's like, I maybe it's like, if I had to pick one character, it's like, wow, I just, you know, think about him because it's like, what is his story? Just I know because he's partly blind, so I guess I have more empathy for him because I'm blind, <laughs> I'm not you know legally blind, I guess I should say. But anyways, um, yeah, I just yeah. So, but yeah, so this is like this idea of like you know, this this piece is you know you know Dave Filoni, uh, Filoni, I guess we got his name now. Um, is just the one piece of this large puzzle, I guess is all I'm trying to say. And I feel like this this project knowledge is, and there again, like you can see over here, it's like the foundation of the project knowledge is this idea of, you know, people. And there again, Adolf Hitler, this is more like the history, alternative history. I know he's a huge part of MCU. Uh, and then you got myself, right? You know, this is not part of this is part of the no, the Micaiah knowledge base. So this is like this is like I'm, I'm building a knowledge base of these characters as well. Um, and like thinking, you know, ugh, excuse me, sorry, let's get it some water. But
but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just, um, part of this is like, yeah. Um, you know, my own personal knowledge and then, yeah. And then, so it's just, yeah. And I just, to me, it's like, I'm just trying to build this foundation of these ideas. Genealogy is really easy. I've been working on that for a long time. So, and then getting, you know, understanding the Skywalker family tree and I'm trying to get the data, right? This is, this is, this is a data problem, you know, how to take ancestry.com and turn it into a usable, uh, usable data. I mean, I guess we'd be calling this a usable data source, right? Um, but to me, it's like one, one pillar of this project is taking data, existing data, right? This is, uh, I am trying to say existing data, right? Existing data that we already have and budget it to say raise parents or a thing. Let's explore that privately. Um, yeah. Uh, that, I mean, that's such a challenge, but it's, it's, I mean, thankfully, you know, my, my, even my brothers would be like, Hey, they, they'd be great at that challenge of trying to understand the, the security of this. I mean, that's what my, my youngest brother does is this, he'd be a security expert on this to say, okay, we have this data that we're trying to protect. How do we do that? And, you know, he works with Microsoft and Intune and I've did a little bit of that, but it's like, no, I'm not them. But, <laughs> uh, anyways, um, uh, I'm sure people have systems in place already to do that, but yeah. So, and then there again, so it's like, um, now this is like, oh my God. So I feel like this, this piece of data over here, and it's like really interesting is simpler. Um, and then again, it's like clearly like to me, it's like, I don't know where, I don't know if I said this, this is a, this is fantasy, right? This is the, um, this, this is fantasy pure and simple not reality it's just a dream you know it's you know it's like to me it's like i don't know for that it's like it feels like that's such a you know yoda is a, a, a fantasy you know it's like yes i'm trying to make yoda real and there again that's a that's uh this constraint right let's see uh the constraints here uh this is this like the source is george you know george lucas right i i've, I've heard george lucas say you know that's a constraint. He's like, I don't want anybody to, to to explain where Yoda's from. I don't want anybody to talk to about his planet. I mean, it's like he's like a a complete unknown, and I love it that way. I want it that way. I was like, okay, well that's cool. That's that's completely understandable. It's a constraint from the the leadership. It's like we have to build that these these under the understandable factors into this. And I guess there again, like over here, it's like we have. Um, oh my goodness, we have like there again. So like, um, F, uh, let's see, new folder five is constraints, right? Uh, new, you know, uh, constraints, and this is Yoda is Yoda is con constrained from a leadership point of view, never to be the miss. I feel like that's a like to me it's like that's one of the things like you know I I really hope like hundreds of years from now we never explore Yoda because it's it just feels like a the the part the greater part of mystery is is not explaining something to me it's like you know like um do we have to explain where warp drives and you know in Star Trek and mutants I mean it's like um, you know I mean maybe they're they're gonna try to explain mutants and Da, da 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 but it's like does that is that necessary it's like some mystery is good you know especially in storytelling right that's like storytelling tropes is we don't have to explain every single thing and i just i like that idea of like you know there again it's but it's constraints to the system to say you know you click on yoda and it's like been sealed by george lucas and never to be unsealed right and again maybe you know i'm not saying george lucas or dave floney can't unseal that i'm just saying as a programmer i i understand that that's from the leadership that's there and i i never want to uh but 
but with Grogu and Yaddle, and is Yaddle there again? But again, is Yaddle and Yoda child Grogu? And to me, it's like, sorry, need to know. It's like, uh, you know, <laughs> I need to know. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about that uh, Mark Anthony song. I think it is need to know. Uh, anyways, but yeah, God, I'm so random, but that's the love and joy of me and how I'm so good at my job that I don't have, um, no, no, not, not Doja Cat, need to know, I feel like it's Mark Anthony, yeah, Mark Anthony, I need to know, yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, I like that song, but anyways, you have to imagine it because it's copyrighted, but yeah, so it's like, uh, you know, we just we need to know. And there again, like, you know, you know, oh my god, you know, let's let's introduce introduce Yodel. And it's it's uh this is uh the female Jedi on you know, on Coruscant or whatever. It's like Coruscant. Uh let's uh, look her up. I don't know, I don't know how much trouble I'm gonna you know, YouTube's gonna be like, Oh my god, you know, you, you displayed this five second image, you're going to be copyrighted. Not yodeling. Uh, Yoda, no, yodel the female, female Yoda, right? The quaint, y yaddle. Woo! Woo! Okay, yaddle. Well, okay, it's important to get the names right. Yaddle. Her name is Yaddle. Sorry, Yaddle and Yo and let's see, is this Yodas? Yoda. Yoda said on the Jama Council with his solar green that's just fun, but the uh, you know, here we go. Oh, I don't know, can we I don't know, I guess we're just gonna copy and paste. Um again, that's like to me it's like I, you can do this all you want, but without the permission. That's always my problem. I can you know, do anything I wanted with the Bible, but without permission of, you know, well, I mean, there's no permission you can get from the Bible, but I could do all the fan fiction I want. And there again, I, I really need to put together a little outline for Dave and say, hey, here's my idea. And I know it's it's so funny, like, I guess I, I used to be concerned about ideas. And, you know, and I still am protective of some of my ideas, but it's just like to me, it's like the idea about, you know, Mandalorian being World War Ten, or the idea that um, Balin could be, you know, the um, Balin could be the um, the father, and that would just be a perfect end to his story. Um, is just is such a such a great idea that I'm like, and but it's not my. I guess it's not my idea. It's it's Dave's and George's idea. And, you know, Mr. Lucas and Mr. Filoni's idea that, but it's like, I'm like, hey, I just, you know, it's like, a, it's like this example of, um, uh, I was, I was watching this um, Seinfeld actor who played the uh, dentist. He said he was practicing his part. Um, and, and he's like, okay, you know, he's trying to be the dentist and he's, you know, he's going to give um, Seinfeld um, laughing gas, right? And apparently this this electrician was working on the set and he said, it'd be funny, you know, he said, take a hit of the gas. And he's like, what? He's like, yeah, take a hit of the gas. Uh, you know, however he explained it to him. And it's like that electrician had a brilliant, hilarious idea. And it's like, but yeah, it just, it just to me, it's like, I feel like this would just, um, this would really feel like, you know, and uh, Ray Stevenson, yes, this is Ray Ray Stevenson died, and I'm just and there again as Steven's son as my <laughs> we're not we're not related I we're similar but anyways as his um um well everybody knows my name is Bakai Stevens that's yeah it's not hidden uh anyways but as you know to me this he died um and I just feel like this is the I feel like this is the side this is the fitting end and there again you can now. You know, now, now he's, you know, someone, someone else, and you can maybe get 
permission to hand hand it off without feeling like you betrayed you betrayed um Ray. Um you know, Ray the Mr. Stevenson's Mr. Stevenson in this case, but I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it just I don't know. I feel like what they're gonna do is just say uh, you uh, you betrayed. Uh, there again, it's like I mean, this is just you know, Micaiah's personal opinion. I mean, I don't know. This it's going to be a leadership decision. I mean, it's like I don't know. I, when I talk about these things, like I, I you know, I always have to feel like, I mean, I, maybe I don't have to, but I'm like, no, no. I'm just just because I'm saying, you know, you this would be a great way to do this doesn't mean I'm telling you this is how you should do it. I'm just saying that would be, I feel like a a good way to, you know, it's like. You know, I don't know how you would, you know, do that in a, you know, like a AI. I don't know how you would do that. Like, you know, it's always the question. I guess that the very question about the actor strike right now is, you know, how do you take at someone like Ray Stevenson? And there again, you can go get his family's permission and, and say, you know, tell his son or whatever, his wife. I want you to do this with Ray Stevenson to sort of, you know, in cap his story. To say yes, he walked into the mountain, and his character died, and now it's like you know he's like he 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 became the father, right? To me, the father was dying. The father was calling him the entire time. It's like I don't. I feel like that's the good end of the the Clone Wars, is like you know that the son, you know, the daughter already died. The son, you know, it's like it's the they're dying, but they need someone to fill the roles, basically. Uh, it's just I don't you know that's I guess I didn't mention that but that's part of like the idea for me, um, and yeah so it's like if Ray Stevenson would to walk into that um, that cave and then now it's like now you can get you know someone else right you can get anybody else to say okay now you know he's you know and I mean on, honestly I would I would just be like no no if if Ray was still alive today I'd be like no 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 man this guy is yeah, and there again, you got to find an actor. You know, I guess sorry, we're getting into the, the the uh, uh, what would you call it, the um, fandom side of things. But yeah, it's like yeah, just yeah, just it'd be nice to find an actor that would, you know, even an actress, but whatever, an actor to say, um, you know, I'm saying guy or girl, but the man or woman, but. Um, but I feel like it, it'd be nice if there was an actor that really could, you know, like a Spock. I mean, that's probably a horrible example, but I mean, there's been characters that have tried to imitate people to some good and some bad. But it's, I don't know, I just feel like, you know, the, the lines that Ray delivered and how he delivered them was just, ah, it's just, I mean, if I had to think of one thing about Ahsoka I loved immensely, it was that his every single scene he was in was was far and above um, and I just it's so weird like you think of him as um Ray Stevenson as a um uh he was in um Thor right it's like I can't believe he was in Thor as this character and him as in Ahsoka is like un, you know I don't know it's like I don't know. it just it doesn't make any sense to me it's like yeah, here's this Wikipedia article um, yeah, and he died. Uh, yeah, Ooh. just recently. Um, yeah, uh, it just it's just yeah. Um, yeah, nineteen. Oh yeah, okay, nineteen. Wow, nineteen ninety. Oh, nineteen ninety eight. Wow, that doesn't feel like uh that long ago. I mean, it is twenty plus years, but wow, it's just yeah. You think he was you know acting forever, but yeah. Anyways, ugh, I'm losing my voice. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's amazing how. And there again, like I think Wikipedia is interesting, but because it does give you this idea that you can come here and say, okay, he's this is R Ruth Gamali. Sorry, I can't say your name. Sorry, Ruth J J Jamel. Um, yeah. Oh, she's an actress as well. You know, this is, I like I just like the word actress. It just really, you know, I mean, I'm trying to put this really clarifies to me and it gives the, you know, the dignity and the respect to say 
you're all actors, I guess. It's like, I don't know. Anyway, sorry. I guess we're getting into the political weeds, but yeah, interesting. And then when, oh, she's, wow, she's even recent? Wow. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Just, it's, yeah, it was a joy and a pleasure to watch him on the screen. And so it's, I mean, it's like, if I can add some little small piece to say, you know, and honor that, it's like, wow, I, I feel like that's just amazing. Um, but yeah, I feel like to me, it's like, we, we, we care about these stories and we care about these people who portray these stories. And we, we, you know, we feel like we're part of that history. And when we can write it down and when we can, you know, be fans of it, it's like you're a fan, but you're not a rabid fan. You're a true fan of, you know, there again, it's like, I, you know, obviously I have no, uh, you know, I don't focus on the DCU as much. I guess that's true. Uh, you know, so maybe I just lost that job. But it's like to me, it's like I'm. I guess I'm thinking about this document. But to me, it's like I'm. I'm obviously a massive fan of, of you know. And may, there again, like in Warhammer, you think about okay, we got 40k. You got the RPG. 40, you know, RPG. Oh, God, I don't know, CRPG or whatever. And then you got the RPG, my favorite, right? It's like, it's kind of a, it's like a, the evil stepchild of Warhammer is the, you know, I don't know how this works, right? Is there a, how does this actually work? I mean, this is like, it's, it's, it's a lot of this is about learning as well. 40K, you know, the Warhammer ethos. Like, what is the, uh, what is the Warhammer? You know, what is the Warhammer? I guess the Wikipedia. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, I, I, I went to college for eight years, and it's like I was always, people are always like, you know, hey, I'm trying to understand, you know, this. And I'm like, okay, what you do is you go to Wikipedia. And you're like, no, no, I can't use Wikipedia. I'm like, you don't use Wikipedia. You use Wikipedia to understand what you're trying to think about, and you read the articles because they're really amazing and interesting and have lots of factual details. And then you go out and say, okay, how do I back up this fact, right? And you're like, okay, prior to this, miniatures, war games, rule sets were designed, used, you know, genetic, you know, like, okay, what does that mean? And you come down here and you actually have a source, right? There's a source. And you click on this source and you say, okay, what does this mean? And you're like, oh, okay, this article is really clear. And it's like, and if you can't, if you can't cite that source, then maybe you're in trouble. But what I'm trying to say is that there's a for, Warhammer. And I'm trying to say that there is a, uh, is there a disambiguous? Dis I don't want the Warhammer. Yeah, you got the Warhammer fantasy battles, I guess. Uh, and then to me, it's like, what kind of? Can we get the list of their products here? Yeah, so you got Warhammer 40k. The wow. Yeah, the Warhammer Quest. Yeah, so you got the Warhammer 40k. Yeah, so there's Warhammer Fantasy with the Dread Fleet, right? So to me, it's like it's it's basically the fantasy version of War, Warhammer 40k as I always understood it. And then you've got these. Um, I don't know what is. Why do they need Hero Quest? Anyways, but I'm thinking that there's a 40k, a 40, 40, like a fantasy science fiction version. And then I feel like there's a fantasy, you know, um, I don't know what they call it, Warhammer fantasy universe. And then there's a subset of that, and I don't know what it is. It's not Warhammer Quest. Maybe it's just called... Oh, it's a board game. Here, let me just Google and see if I can find the source book I'm looking at. Warhammer RPG. Yeah, okay, there it gets so it's the there it gets so it's the Warhammer fantasy role playing, right? So that's like to me that's the 
Woo! Okay, so we got the war, um, war hammer fantasy role playing, role playing, and I think we got the the war the war the war hammer. Um, what is it called? The um, uh, the fantasy battles. I feel like. I could be ah oh, this this is where it's like fantasy battles, and then you got the Warhammer 40k right. So this is the Warhammer 40k. You know again this is the science science fiction fiction, and then this is the this is like part of the the the, the meat and potatoes of what I'm talking about. And then you got Warhammer. Uh, Okay, Warhammer, 40k, God Emperor, right? Like, who's the God Emperor? That's like, to me. It's like this. I keep calling the God Emperor the Emperor of Mankind, right? The yeah. So I, I keep thinking about this person. This is, you know, the God Emperor. It's like to me. It's like is isn't there a God Emperor Dune? Isn't that what they call him? The God Emperor Dune, right? Isn't that what they call him? Yeah, the God Emperor of Doom. Is this yes? This is like where he becomes the snake. You know, it's like this is. I mean, spoiler alert for Doom Part Two. Uh, yeah, so this is where. When does this book come out? Oh, 1981. So there again, like Dune would also be another. Um, you know, um, yeah. It's like I mean, there's no end, right? To me, what I'm talking about, there is no end to what this tool could be used for. Um, yeah. Um, you know, it's like there's just just it never ends. You know, Dune, you can be like it's just there's no end to you know, Farscape, uh Red Dwarf, um uh, Red Dwarf, you've got um Tomorrow Tomorrow Thunders. I mean there's just ne this this project will never ever end. <laughs> you know, it's like um yeah. Uh but yeah, it's like I I don't know. I feel like to me, it's like the ele like the elevator discussion is. This is a. I feel like now wiki feels like a, you know, bad. This is this, uh, wiki is bad as in wiki leaks, but knowledge base is insane. I, I don't know. It feels like that's, yeah. So I don't, know, I don't know. I guess there again, like to me, it's like Dave. Dave, you know, all these people. If you're listening, oh, like ha ha ha. But uh, no, I guess I, 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 you know, I'm not talking about WikiLeaks. I'm talking about a, you know, a secure, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, this is like the insanity of this system would be insane. Um, but yeah, I just, I just want to build it, I guess. And again, to me, it's like some things like with the Bible. I know that's what a lot of this is talking about is like, uh, yeah. And I've talked to some about this. I've actually made some videos, but I never released them about this project. But yeah. Anyways, it's just yeah, it's it's hard to describe this project, and I guess I've been talking for now an hour and a half. And I feel like that's just a good conclusion that <laughs> undefined, an un undefined project, right? This is like this is a, a the 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 scope of this project, and it's it's yeah, it's still yeah yeah uh, yeah. Anyways, I, I guess I'm getting it's getting kind of late here. So, anyways, I feel that's great. Let's uh, save. Um, always save, and then um, yeah, um, I feel like this this has so many wide reaching effects. So it's like I feel like I've created a playlist, and we'll actually see code at some point because this. Um, I've actually built like a few like the genealogy and a few things, but at some point we'll start working on more, hopefully more concrete examples of coding. And trying to get this thing built in such a, I mean, it's like to me, it's like it's an interface to the data, I guess. Um, but I feel like to me, like building genealogy is just fun. <laughs> That's, it's the uh, if I had to sum up Micaiah, building the genealogy is just fun. <laughs> Reinventing the wheel is fun for me. Anyways, thank you all much. I really appreciate it. A lot of people are enjoying these, and uh, we'll see you next time.